I hope my one vote will contribute to the collective effort for the people of Hoganville to achieve the objective of this long process, which has been a joint effort between the National Government of Papua New Guinea and Bougainville to achieve a, common, a, a good negotiated outcome. And I want to thank the Government of Papua New Guinea, especially the people of Bougainville, for their commitment, for their zeal, and for the resilience to overcome uh, impediments along the way and achieve something that is that will be uh, democratic and uh, mutually acceptable to both parties. Thank you. Can you put into words just what this means for people? Incredible scenes here tonight. It's uh, <coughs> obvious that the people are now in the mood of celebration and I join them very much. They have every right to celebrate because this is a, a forecast or the beginning of good things to come if we collaborate and work as uh, trusted partners to implement something that both parties have uh, contributed to. I, I, I'm a great believer in uh, enjoying the uh, process of achieving the outcome. So uh, I've always talked about the importance of the integrity of the process which should deliver a, an outcome that has integrity and I think this is the demonstration of this uh, philosophy by the people of Bougainville as they participate that gives them the commitment to respect the outcome. President, what is it possibly to negotiate around after the referendum if there's an overwhelming vote for independence? After the referendum, the Bougainville Peace Agreement is quite clear. If the vote for Independence is overwhelmingly uh, in support of independence. The national government and the ABG will have to uh, consult on nothing other than the option of uh, option number two, and that is independence. So you're calling on the PNG government to fully accept an independence vote and ratify that if it's an overwhelming vote for independence. I'm calling for the national government to follow the peace agreement, and that is for the two governments to sit down and consult over the result of the referendum, and that, in my view, will be overwhelmingly for independence. And how long do you think is a reasonable time for that to happen in? I think, uh, well, number one, in principle, we should not rush things. We must give it time, which it deserves, to get a good outcome. Uh, and uh, that will depend on uh, the way the two governments uh, uh, apply themselves, but from from the example that they've set in the past, and until, uh, especially in the recent past, I think it shouldn't take too long. A year, two years, five years, twenty could years be, could be could be five years, as long as we as long as the the final outcome is determined, it, it doesn't really matter how long it takes, except that the people must be informed that without uh, government institutions, which, without institutional and personal um, uh, capacity, uh, it is impossible to uh, run a good democratic government. And this is your, this is the peak of your political career, really. After all these years in politics, you're retiring soon. How do you feel? I feel uh, very happy. Uh, I've been involved in this uh, process for a long time, probably more than anybody else still standing. And I'm very happy that uh, my dream to empower people in an appropriate, in a way that is democratically appropriate, uh, has finally been achieved. Are you leaving Bougainville in the way, in the condition that you wanted it to be when you finished your political career? I think Bougainville is on the verge of uh, freedom. We are on a mission, and our mission is to liberate Bougainville, Bougainville from structural impediments, from all kinds of impediments, and help to be, uh, enable the people to be free, to decide their own affairs, to manage their own affairs, and mostly to have the freedom to protect and promote 
collective interest of all of them. President, do you have a message for those in PNG who say the urging Bougainville to stay united because the two stay stronger together? My message to those who say who believe that is that uh, the two governments are bound by the peace agreement to jointly negotiate the final outcome. And I, I am in every conference the two governments have the commitment and the capability of doing so. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You have the minister here representing the national government. You have any questions or <coughs>